Hey y'all, welcome to the 8th location of the Quetzal Kotal West Line. So, Quetzal Kotal has given us yet another task. Now she wants a drink because she cannot think about what help we need when she is thirsty. These gods just keep having several tasks and just won't help us quickly. But anyway, they are the gods, we have to obey them. We have no other option after all. So let's try and find a drink for her. So there's three cacti pub that will probably have a drink for us. Uh, I don't think this one is it. Well, this one is just a barrel of water. And there's a secret storage right be beside it. Uh, I don't think there's anything interesting other than some three red barrels. Well, I don't think it's really worth it entering this secret passage unless you want to dig all the tiles. If you're digging all the tiles, maybe these are the ones that you might have missed. They were probably more than 10, so maybe last I find it didn't work either. Let's go ahead and try to find that bar. This location is 826 tiles long, so and will cost you about 1.25 million energy so that's pretty large enough but not very much costly it doesn't include any feathers after all anyway so we have some kind of puzzle when we stand between the candles we see which are the correct paths it actually does not matter for me because I just do it all the tiles anyway. Now as you can see as soon as to give you just a door, if it is not the correct one, then some roots just block access to that door. Some more doors are getting blocked and we almost had to walk through the longest path. Okay, another cave that is probably the exit. Yes, we had entered from a cave on the top left, that one. And we came out from this cave. Unfortunately, I think I have missed two tiles back. Uh, not two, four of them. And the only way to get those tiles would be to go back. So I'm not sure, maybe I should go back and do those tiles first because maybe the journey ahead is quite long, this location is 826 tiles long. So if I choose to do them later then I will have to walk a long path back. So let's just do those while we are here. This path is not short either with all the going around between the roots. Alright, finally at the exit, let's continue then. This is probably the bar that was being talked about. Okay, see, yes, we are looking for that. Fix the destroyed furniture. Okay. So, we just tap them and the furniture magically becomes uh, as good as new. Uh, 
uh, one more devil up there and a chair i think this is it to make pearl you can find a cave plants so those plants they are to the right 50 of them that's a lot i don't know if we are going to be collecting them in batches or all of them individually if it's individual then it's pretty long so let's see we'll find out time to enter the next region so we have a cave which i don't know what it is for because there are multiple of those caves Okay, this one just took us to some different area because as far as I remember there were chilies here and on that other part there were corns so I don't know maybe to the right of chilies are the corns this is another of those when you stand between the candles you will see the real gates this one is probably a bit longer Again, we are taking almost the longest path. time to exit finally uh, something doesn't look right because I may have missed a few tiles but I don't think so because I don't see any stairs or something that will make them accessible from the other end the tiles are in fact from the other end so it's great that we did not miss anything this time because it would have again be a very long journey to go back so let's see what this house has for us well it's a sapphire which is a great thing two red barrels as well so yes this is definitely worth entering this cave on the right we had entered from the leftmost cave and now we just have to see what is in this hut and then we probably have to continue further right that's where those 50 things might be this house has yet another sapphire so that is another amazing thing Maybe there is something behind those barrels. We had seen one such hut earlier, so I figured out that would be the case this in this one I is as well. Mm, there is an obsidian here, so in essential if you are looking to clear the obsidian vaults. Papaya uh, jar papaya, so it's also definitely worth checking out. go right finally hopefully that's where the plants we are seeking are
one is five columns or more further no more than five so six columns and even longer puzzle I don't know I'm just finding these boring because the gates only to close as we reach them if we had to like remember something and if we had gotten punished for choosing the wrong gate then it would have been a little more fun remembering those gates but in this scenario we just don't need to remember the gates at all we will just automatically close automatically close as we reach them so there's technically no point you can just dig on as usual and continue another such cave is almost done where to be picked from town and is expecting that we don't get dropped let's see oops okay there are several movable items here and i don't exactly know oh i think i know there is that locked obsidian below and perhaps we are placing the same ones as the ones behind those gates on the top that's what i think it is so we have a barrel a blue gramophone and the plant just coming in the way so just moving that out and the gate should open up to this and all is right so another obsidian is ours well let's continue Something of interest might be on that right gate. Surely looks something interesting. Bulk making machine. A cave. Turn the valve and what was it? Uh, never mind. Turn the valve I think. Uh, mm, probably nothing here. We have to get those plants first. The third one was to drink the pulk. Are we drinking it? I don't think so. We are just going to take it back to Quetzal Hotel. There is one cave on the top left which I don't know how to access. We will probably figure out later.
so many high cost styles that is just only too hard that gives an amazonium this is probably not just worth it just a test with an Amazonium nothing extra either so definitely not worth it in my opinion so we are probably at the place uh, we have to grow them we are not going to pick them up just so it's not just going to be easy and there's 50 different fields so this probably is a lot of work I can see the plant, maybe they are the seeds, 50 seeds, yes that's it. So we have to plant all of them, which is going to be a really long task. Not hard enough because the fields are just open. I am probably not going to keep an count because 50 is too much to count. On that note, I have planted 10. forget the count not that big of a task 50 seeds is no big deal for the key anyway the real farmers in the world they just do much more task than this so tribute to them and we are just going to run around and plant those seeds quickly. so far I think we need the plants themselves and not to plant those plants so we might have to water them and then collect them or something like that but they are not going to grow instantly are they uh, sprinkle them it will grow much faster so I don't like this, I think I'm going to uh, drag a can all over the fields. There is this key which is to the top section and this is not dragging a can, this is just turning a valve so that is much better and the game has grown we have to just collect all 50 of them this is again not a really interesting task but we'll just be fine with it at least we are getting to play normally the game time is much less because of the energy constraints This time we don't need to keep a count because the count is just written on the bottom bar. Four last on the other side. That's great. Uh, now we probably have to go back to the bulk making machine. And we 
had missed a few caves. We also have to find a way to them. Anyway, this is the bulk making machine, and we are just putting all the 50 turn the valve. And instead of drinking the bulk, we have just collected it. We are going to take it to Kutsal Hotel for her to drink it. Now for the missing tiles, there are actually a lot of them, 38 in total. The caves probably don't have as many tiles, so I don't know. Mm, this is not the correct way, it was just an obsidian place. Is this the right cave? Uh, no, this is the cave that goes back. Uh, we might have to go back because there are many more caves on the path we missed earlier. I had just entered the random cave and it turned out to be the correct cave. So we just proceeded. I didn't go back, maybe I should have. Anyway, we are anyway close to it, so and we don't need to come back unless we missed more tiles on that side. The other caves, those are accessible from here. Two of them and we have two caves with the secret entrances. I mean entrances that are not accessible from anywhere else. second cave uh, but still we are left with some tiles nine of them in all so I don't know where I might have missed them should I just use the last elephant or try searching for them maybe I'll just have a look behind if I miss them So I just went ahead and used the last tail finder because when I have the tool then there is no point in searching for it manually. That cave is probably the real one and we are unfortunately needing to go back again the same route. The last tail finder is just taking a very easy shortcut right through the roads but Dicky cannot take that shortcut he has to walk all around in between the gates so where is where are the tiles we are going right perhaps they are in the field i don't remember any tiles being missed out on the field i don't know where i missed them into the field and into that cave which I think I had not checked out somehow I missed that and yes these are the missing tiles all of them actually so we have to simply place one stone that opens one gate and the hard part I'm not exactly sure how to figure that out there are no hints either I don't know hmm. I think I found the hints there are colored flowers right behind those stones so we might try and place the respective colored stones on those flowers two pink and one red uh, i think that was all i don't know if the other two stones were relevant at all but anyway that was the placement and we are done with all the tiles so it's time to go to the city and talk to pencil Kotal, which should end the quest so Thank you for watching, see you in the next location.